my main topic today is how homeopathy as it should be. So, homeopathy was labeled from very beginning that it has just placebo effect and it is world all over it is still under attack that homeopathy is a placebo effect which may kuch hai nahi and you have to just see that what that they, they treat you just by talking psychotherapy it's not but last year somebody served homeopathy in a very great way from iit a professor who proved in a highly quality, highly sophisticated electrifying uh, magnifying electron microscope that he found in cuprum mat that metal of cuprum is still there in 200 potency but they are in very very small molecule and they are nanoparticles so first scientist in this world by default he has not claimed himself is the honey man the medicines are nanoparticle medicines the smallest possible what he has said infinitesimal small dosage or infinitesimal small particles are available in the homeopathic medicine and they are supposed to cure the patients now nobody believe, nobody had believed it so far it is only in, because of the indian scientists it is still not publicized too much over the world but the french scientist along with him he says that when you have the nanoparticles nanoparticles carry the message they have a radioactivity message radio it is not the radio of the x-ray but the radio frequency rather so very small radio frequency they carry and however you dilute that radio frequency goes on in the same liquid so fragments 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 everything is coming together to us that there are definite medical particles into that and how it acts that's a separate but it contains medicine it not then this is the molecule part whoever has done this this was taken up from the times of india that they are like molecules they are like a molecules i deliberately made the point to put the year it is in 1828 the second point that skin eruption is not a local symptom at all not a disease in itself by a simply but a simply a sign of internal unhealthiness or a disorder anybody there to believe other than homeopathy skin eruptions are nothing but they are simply a sign of internal unhealthiness it is in 1828 remember that at the time where every world was believing that there are local symptoms and there is nothing and you have to remove it by local application this is the time that main said and that skin eruptions are not a local symptom subse ulta and that is why throughout his life he was fighting with the prevailing at that time prevailing iraqa medical people say he was fighting throughout his life because his thoughts were sub ulta tha. and still Today, if you say, koi bhi skin wale ko jaake bhi ya any any pathi anybody, they say that ye kya sab. The skin eruption is not a local symptom. Still further, we say, say, look at the confidence he has said and how nicely he explains. The human skin cannot, without the help of rest of the living body, produce from itself an eruption. Without the help of rest of the living body, it cannot produce. It will never become a disease in any way unless the general disease condition, the abnormal state of the whole organism compels it. Still further, why I am saying this? Because today it is the base. And this has been proved beyond doubt, whatever said, word by word, and that is throughout day we will be discussing. Again in 1828, he goes further. In every case, an improper condition of the whole body, of the inner living organism is the root of the trouble. And still nobody wants to believe it. There are only few corner basic science who started believing that this is the truth and this is nothing than the truth. But that is how we prove. If left to us, how we prove it's a challenge for all of us 
and therefore this must be considered and should be removed by internal medicines which will either alter improve and cure the whole these skin diseases are not local they are definitely by the whole organism or the whole body is sick first and they express the symptom outside that was the first thing and because it is internal disease it has to be treated with internal medicine this is the condition of homeopathy still today it says what there the homeopathic mode of treatment beginning was very promising have you started practicing everybody is practicing the continuation less favorable and the outcome is hopeless it is still going on it is not that time it is the honeyman's own word the thing that man has how much courage to talk out the theory which he had invented he feels that this is the status of homeopathy beginning is promising ab bahut acha lagta hai result aate hai thode thode mein thode mein aate nahi hai aur thode mein to aisa pak jate hain ki yaar ye kahan se patient mere paas nahi aave to acha hai how much to answer them because we don't have answer so we it is at the end it is hopeless and we want to remove this how he could remove and how we can remove यस ये कहीं पे लिखा है हनीमैन ने एनी बडी इफ दे कैन टेल मी क्यूर कंफर्मेबल टू होम्योपैथी नो एनी बडी परफेक्ट क्यूर कहीं पे भी हनीमैन एज सेड आई टेल यू एवरीथिंग वेन शू गो थ्रू एंड वेयर एंड हाउ एंड हाउ टू सी दैट क्यूर कंफर्मेबल टू होम्योपैथी वो भी पास ओके देन ही सेज दैट यू शुड हैव अडे सपेरे एज आई सेड ही वॉज टॉकिंग एवरी टाइम समथिंग डिफरेंट इन दी कंटेम्प्ररी वर्ल्ड सो ही सेज इफ यू हैव कन्विक्शन ऑफ योर ओन अगर आपको खुद के ऊपर विश्वास है तो उठ के बोलो कि वो यू वॉन्ट टू वो यू आर अप टू हिलिंग अकर्स विदाउट ग्रेट डिफिकल्टीज so today apart from that whatever he has said how to see it from molecular science point of view and how the homeopathy is still relevant into the current era that we will be trying to see a uh, case of first is multiple sclerosis second will be severe and generalized itching and then all through that molecular science that is how it is applied i mean how it what is it first molecular science and how it is to be seen from homeopathic point of view and how it is to be applied in clinical practice khali baat karke fayda nahi hai we have to see that understand it and start applying into practice and see what's the differences good morning case taking and then selection of remedy as per the science of homeopathy i am talking jo bhi aata hai hamesha yahi bolta hai ki i am talking as per the science of homeopathy but i want to give you some base when i talk that what is that base and that according to the base and examples and we'll go along with that every thursday every alternate thursday i have a small conference room in my uh, clinic uh, and there i take uh, 3 o'clock to 4:30 uh, almost or sometimes 3 to 5 a small talk where also interactions my own assistant and the neighboring area practitioners my old assistants they come and we discuss in that also we have about 15 to 25 so i'm used to talk to only small crowd that is one secondly what i'm going to talk today is cannot be what you can say for bulk it is very difficult that you talk to the student